As you can see, the French climbing beans have popped their heads through the soil. I'm just looking at all the pots here on the bench and it seems like I've got 100% germination rate on the beans. So that's pretty successful. I'm going up to the plot today with no specific agenda. I'm just looking out the window now and it's raining ever so lightly, which is needed because we haven't had any rain for quite a while where I am anyhow so um, yeah the plants up there will be thankful for this bit of rain yeah so like I said I'm just going to go up and have a look at what's going on up there I'm also going to plant out my final two late sprouting raw beans but apart from that it's just a general look around the plot Come on, let's get up there. Okay. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today. It seems like we have April showers in May. So I'm just gonna take shelter in the shed until this lot dies down. Looks like the sun is out for now. Let me show you how I'm getting on with my peas. There you go. Remember in the last episode, or maybe the episode but one, uh, mice have taken both rows of peas, so I constructed this Heath Robinson, um, I guess protection, you could call it. I just dropped some EnviroMesh on top of the new rows of peas that I sowed. I certainly sowed that row there, that one, I part re -sewed, and it looks like it's done the job. So now I need to free them from their tomb and get a bit of a climbing frame sorted so that they can go about their business. starting to cloud over again so I'll show you what I've been doing for the peas and uh, see what you think. As you can see I've used two strips of this chicken wire, chicken mesh, and a whole load of bamboo canes, tied them all together using cable ties, slotted one straight down, two straight across the length of the chicken wire and then some supports which I've kind of threaded through the uh, links on the chicken wire and I've supported them with these kind of cross braces here so that's what it looked like Last year I used pea netting and it was way too flimsy. I hadn't uh, built a stronger support as I have this year, so that was probably uh, half the problem. But I didn't realize the weight of the peas and the plants would almost bring it down. So that's why I've gone for a chicken wire this year. Also this design is based on a video that I saw on Allotment Diary. Dan constructs his this way. I was going to film me doing this but I'm glad I didn't because halfway through there were a couple of basil faulty moments where I did almost run off, tear a branch off a tree, come back 
and beat the hell out of this whole contraption. But I got there in the end. Right, that's the peas sorted for this year. I better get on and sort those two broad bean plants. It looks like we're in for a bit of rain. So before that comes down, in fact it's starting to now, I'll just give you a quick plot tour. Here we go, the lupin. Got its first potential flower on the way. So that definitely pleases me. There we go, there's the peas. Two, two new broad bean plants that are Put in there, they look really flimsy and sorry for themselves. Hopefully, they'll pick up. These two rows are just getting on with things. Oh, the wind is picking up, so I reckon that rain's not far away. Main crop potatoes have poked their heads through the soil for King Edwards. So, yeah, I think every row has got a potato coming up. Um, I sowed, what did I sow here? Uh, some spring onions, which haven't come up yet. Those, if you remember from a couple of video, videos back, are the beetroot that I planted from the individual cells. Some of them have had a go and have made it. A lot of them haven't. Some iceberg lettuces under that cloche there. Pop around. The beetroot that I direct sowed into the ground are coming up. There's a distinct line of beetroot there. And carrots. And that was from a very old seed, that was. It was about five years old. So the carrots are coming up over to the garlic here in this first row, shallots in this second row, and then onions. And finally, parsnips. And as you can see from all of my beds, the main issue now is weeding. And I've got to try and keep on top of the weeding up here on the plot. It's the bit I hate doing really. I think we all hate it, don't we? Under here, finally, we've got three cauliflower plants. I haven't checked how they're doing. I've just left the fleece on and I'll remove it in a week or two's time. Uh, this bed, as you can see, weeds are starting to come through now. Got to keep on top of it and I did sow another row of parsnip seeds here but only about a week ago so they won't they won't be up for another couple of weeks looks like the wind's just blown my netting off the fence that I was drying that's the netting I used to cover the peas okay Check out the hair, oh, step over the netting. I'm gonna get on with a bit of weeding for another hour or so. Um, I know it's not gonna be very exciting for you guys to watch, but it needs to be done. I'll get on with that and I'll come back to you. Welcome to summer. Well, it looks like rain has stopped play for today. It certainly has for me. 
I'm going to get very wet walking home as I don't have a raincoat. Anyhow, before I go, uh, some of you may or may not know that I have another channel which is imaginatively called My Other Channel. I've put another video up on there. I'll put the link to my other channel in the description box below. If you fancy going over there and uh, watching the videos that are on there, there's not many, there's only about eight or nine. I was trying to upload different stuff onto that channel, but I just haven't had the time. Although a couple of days ago, I did manage to do a video. So it's on there if you're vaguely interested. Anyhow, for those of you that have tuned into this, thank you very much. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.